Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, right now we're going to look at how to import files. Um, and this might be useful for something like a lab or a project where I provide files for you to use. Um, and you need to include them uh, or modify them uh, for whatever reason. Um, so let's look at the original project that we just created called Example. Click on Source. And if you right-click on that source folder, uh, you'll see that you have an import option. Now, there's a lot of other stuff there that we'll eventually get to, uh, or that we won't get to. But for now, let's click on import. And we'll look under general and file system, and that'll allow us to access our the files on our computer or the directory in which uh, you've saved or downloaded your files. So I'll click next. Then up top, there's a browse option which lets me look on my device for files. So I'll click on that. There's a bunch of stuff here. Maybe I want to go to my school folder, the current school year, my Java class, and then some other folders. I'm just navigating through to find the folder that I want, that holds the code I care about. It might be your downloads, it might be your documents, it might be your workspace. Uh, in this case, once I get to the folder, I can't select the files yet. I just have to click Open. Now that I've clicked Open, you'll see that the files that I care about are on the right. And I just select the ones I want. Maybe I'll just choose Goodbye, or if I ch choose both of them, uh, both will be uploaded. And then all I do is click Finish. And you'll see that they appear, appear under the default package, which is in my source folder, which is in my project that I care about. So if I want to look inside, I'll just double click and I see that goodbye has this stuff. And if I run it, it'll print out everything uh, that is asked to print out. It'll run the file. It'll run the program. Same for hello. If I run that, I'll get some different output because it's asking to print different output. If I want to close these files, I simply click the X in the corner. And as a result, you can see that I have a bunch of uh, options in terms of now what files I can look at. I don't have to write code from scratch. I can take it from somewhere else, plop it into my project, and uh, go from there. 